July 22nd, 2020, Portland, Oregon. My very dear Sarah, we had a very long night engaging the Portland rioters. I came face to face with a wall of mothers. It was with great bravery that I was able to fire canisters of tear gas at their chests. We also came upon a woman, unhindered by clothing, sitting unashamed in the street, her normally hidden parts decidedly unhidden. I swear to you that my eyes only fell on her for a moment. I fear she may have gotten some gravel up in there. My heart weeps for her unborn children, who may skin their knees upon crawling out of her womb. It has been a long, tiring week. We have to share hotel rooms, and our unmarked vehicles have no satellite radio. We face many dangers. Someone threw a bicycle at me. I may have sprained my shoulder beating an unarmed protester for calling me a name most foul. Our medic referred to it as a repetitive strain injury, like carpal tunnel, but for bashing insurgency. It is with good cheer that I tell you, all the statues still stand, and all the target stores remain unsullied. We shall fight again tonight. There have been reports of dads with leaf blowers intended to counter eye irritants. We shall not be deterred and have many other non-lethal options that, when used properly, can crack an Antifa noggin. I have no misgivings about, or lack of confidence in, the cause in which I am engaged. I know how strongly American civilization now leans on the triumphs of the government, and how great a debt we owe to those who went before us through blood and sufferings of Occupation Wall Street. And I am willing, perfectly willing, to lay down all my joys in this life, to help maintain this government, and to prevent people from kneeling at sporting events. Sarah, my love for you is deathless, and yet my love of country comes over me like a strong wind and bears me unresistibly on with all these chains to the battlefield, which is usually a city street or quaint park. I also get to wear a cool uniform and carry the kind of weapons you only see in movies and on TV shows. The memories of the blissful moments I have spent with you come creeping over me, and I feel most gratified to God and to you that I have enjoyed them for so long. Someday we will resume watching Pawn Stars together. If you feel you must continue without me, I will be disappointed, but understanding. Soon, Sarah, we will be together. I look forward to defiantly walking into a Costco with you on my arm, our faces bereft of so-called mandatory masks. But, oh, Sarah, you and the children must swear to have a pleasant, normal summer. Go to the beaches. Go to the restaurants. Go to the crowded church. Get many haircuts. By the time they return to public school, we shall once again be reunited as a family. Yours by law and by heart, Sullivan.